Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Brian. Hi, Willow, Karina, Amanda, Marvel fan. Hello, hello. I'm doing pretty well today. Uh, let me turn the sound on. Um, <laughs> so we actually have the game sound on. Um, I am happy to be here. I think that's going to be loud enough for me. I'll make sure it's loud enough for you all as well. Um, yeah, I can't believe Coral Island is finally in its 1.0 release. That's wild and crazy to me. Um, my channel like started with Coral Island and Dreamlight Valley. We played it all the time. So I'm very happy to be playing it again. We've also played it a lot since, well, not recently, but we've played it a lot. Hi, Kitty. I'm doing pretty well. Is this a free game? It's not a free game. No, I believe... It's $29.99 US dollars right now. Um, also, I put a poll up earlier a few days ago, but listen, I've made an executive decision. <laughs> I think um, we're probably going to be playing this game once a week, and this game, sometimes progression can be kind of slow. So we're starting with the money that we had in early access, and that's just going to be the way that it is. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to meet the merfolk faster this way, I think. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Excited to see a new game. I'm excited about it. Um, so if you just picked up the game or if you're picking it up in the future, you won't see this. This is just because I played in early access and all of the saves are getting restarted So um, or reset. So we're going to start with New Game Plus and we're going to be rich. <laughs> kind of rich it's gonna be fun hi heather you finally get to play this game you downloaded it this morning that's amazing i'm really happy to hear that hi joey been playing dreamlight valley like crazy fair very fair okay let's figure out what we're gonna look like this game is really great with customization it's got lots of like sliders and things but i don't know i'm not the best at Sliders? I don't know. Sometimes it makes it harder for me to actually figure out what I'm doing. Um, it's dark in the room that I'm in. I don't know. I feel like my face looks something like this. Close enough. Close enough. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Kristen. Hello, hello. Coral Island is definitely making you consider buying a PS5 just to play it. Oh my goodness. It's a great game. Uh, I don't know what platform you usually play on. It is going to be coming to Switch at some point um, in 2024. They haven't announced when. I'm such a bad judge of myself, but I feel like this is somewhat similar to what I look like. So let's go with this. How does this game work? Never heard of it before. Well, we are starting over, so you'll get the gist as we go. It's a farming sim, though, so if you've seen or played things like um, Story of Seasons, Harvest Moon, uh, Stardew Valley, even Fae Farm, it's going to have a lot of similarities to this or to those types of games with some added fun features as well. I don't know what hairstyle we want to start out with. Is it fun or is it hard? I mean, it's it's fun. It's like a cozy game. Uh, there can be a bit of a grind to it, like with a lot of farming sims, but it's not like a challenging game, I wouldn't say. This braid is really cute. We're also like really close up on my face. Ooh, that hair is very long and very cute. Ooh, this bun is cute. Listen, I feel like a lot of these hairstyles were maybe here the last time I created a character, but it's been a while. I think I actually went with this one last time. Oh, <laughs> there are a lot of nice hairstyles. Oh my goodness. How am I going to pick one? I'm just going to have to commit to one. I like this one in theory. I don't know if I like it in practice. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Cute. Ooh, this is the one. Let me look at this one just to be sure. Yeah, listen, this is the one. Hi, Anna. How are you? You love the ponytails? There are so many cute hairstyles. Definitely have to go with this one, though. Um, I need it to be darker. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. This one must be new since the last time I looked. 
because there's no way I wouldn't have gone with this before. This looks a little bit too red, I think. You love the variety of hairstyles to choose from? There are a lot. I remember when we first started, um, at the start of Early Access, I think there were just these two rows. And they've added so many over the course of the year. I feel like that's good. I feel like I feel happy with this. Oh, I didn't change my actual, like, body type. I'm gonna make me, like, this, I think. Yeah, that looks good. You're in office today? No worries. I hope work's going well. Classic Tinker Space Buns. Exactly. If there are Space Buns in a game, I'm going to go with them. Even though I don't really wear my, um, my hair like that that often anymore, I used to all the time. Hmm, what kind of eyebrows do we want? I'm not blessed with very thick eyebrows. Um, one or four? What is the difference? <laughs> oh, the other ones are kind of more arched. I think I'm going to go with these ones. You're about to play this game for the first time. Amazing. Okay, let me change the eye style first. They also have a lot more of these to choose from than they used to. That's so fun to see, actually. Wait, what's the difference between this one and... I'm going with this one, I think. You went with the pigtail braids, you love them. Those were really cute. Very, very cute. Okay, let's customize this eye color. I have kind of dark eyes, but I kind of just want to be able to see my eyes a little bit better in the game. Because she's going to be tiny. So we'll make them like that color, I think. Nose. Hmm. I don't think I mind this one. You know what? I feel like that one's actually not that bad. And by bad, I mean far off. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Should probably order food soon. You should. Wait, did I eat? I did, I did. <laughs> no worries, I definitely ate. Okay. I don't know, sometimes like, I don't have like a regular eating schedule if that makes sense. Like sometimes I eat really early. I'm gonna change actually the color of, wait, ooh. Wait, what? Oh my, whoa. I think this might be too much for me. Lip color choices? Hmm. That's too much power, I think. I was just trying to make it a slightly different color so I could see them a little bit better when I'm looking at the lip shapes. I don't mind that one. I think we're going with this one. That feels right to me. She doesn't look like me, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You can't wear space buns, you have really long hair, so when you try to wear space buns, they fall out or don't stay. Listen, you just gotta get real creative with it. Uh, okay. Next. It's definitely easier if you have like mid-length hair, I think, but definitely still doable. Oh my goodness, they have flower beards? That is so cute. Stop. <laughs> the flower beards are so fun. Um, outfit. Okay, so we can choose any of these to start with. She's cute. Uh, yeah. I mean, there are only eight color options, but I feel like this is always so difficult for me to decide on. You ate cookies for breakfast? Oh my goodness. That sounds delicious. 
What kind were they? All of them are really cute. Um... I don't know, what do we think? We will be able to buy, I think, different color options of the same, like, overall set. And also there are different outfits we can buy eventually. And since we have money, we can actually do that pretty early on, to be honest. Uh... I think we're gonna start in... <laughs> I thought I had it, and then I was very much like, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. You like option three or six? I think I want to go with something kind of... I do like three. I kind of like this green, though. You know what? Let's go with... Mm. Let's go with this one. None of the above. None of the ones that I was considering previously. Hi, Darth Stone. How are you? Could put like 50 bobby pins in your hair. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Uh, or like not the regular bobby pins, like the hair pins that are longer and a lot wider. Those are a huge help for sure. Okay, my name. Let me move this controller out of the way. Seven doesn't look like the photo. Oh, wait, this one? You're right, it does not. You are very right. Okay. My name is Tink. Um... The temptation to make my... <laughs> to make my honorific doctor is always so tempting. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, like, I don't know. It has you select your honorifics usually when you're scheduling flights as well. And sometimes I'm just so tempted to put, like, doctor me... Um, farm name. Skip intro cutscene. No. Disable tutorials. No, we'll leave all of that up for now. Um, we'll go with our classic. Oh, I love these space buns. Listen, they're so cute. Okay, complete. Uh, let's continue. Are you sure you want to create this character? You can change the clothes and hairstyle later. Yeah. Happy with her. You're so excited to start a new game. You always, or it's always fun to start a new game. Oh yeah, for sure. It's a great time starting new games. Okay, we gotta wait for her to load so we get the intro scene. You leave Pokio to start a new life on Coral Island. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes, okay. So one thing about this game, um, I'm playing on PC. It does have full controller support, but I love to like dual play between controller and keyboard and mouse. And this game doesn't like that. If you have a controller plugged in, it gets pretty mad if you try to use the mouse. So I'm sorry if sometimes the game just glitches out a little bit when I'm trying to do something it doesn't want me to do. Look at us arriving to our new home. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, the NPCs also have new outfits added, I think. It's been a long time since I played this game. Hi, Yana, how are you? Hello, Tink, welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. It's been a long time, Tink. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Um, it's weird. Feels like I've done this before. Maybe in another life. You want to see if you can get it, but you've been playing Fae Farm on your Switch. And you haven't even touched your Xbox. This game is going to be pretty similar to Fae Farm. So I think if you're working on completing Fay Farm. Um, this one can probably wait. That's what I say about Fay Farm too. Like if you're playing another farming sim, sometimes it can be nice to focus on one for a little bit and then switch. That's also why we wrapped up Fay Farm before today so we could focus on Coral Island. Maybe you're remembering your trip back from back when you were a kid. I still remember your parents. Good folks. Hi, Michelle. Hello, hello. If you're in the Doctor Honorific, you should use it. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Dr. Tinker Lily. Maybe I need a rebrand. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. Here we go. I'm 
doing good, Grace. How are you? On a work trip in Estonia, so hanging out in a hotel, watching the stream and playing Dreamlight Valley. Oh my goodness, I hope you're having a good trip, Yana. All right, the floors are done. Oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? It's so funny starting a new game when, like, I know all of these characters and they're like, who are you? And I'm like, it's me. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. That's right. Tink, this is Dinda and Joko. They're the local carpenters. Nice to meet you, Tink. Hello, Tink. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Look at our little ramshackle hut. Indeed. Tink, this will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... Ahem. Excuse me, Mayor Connor. Did you just say we did a poor job here? Eh? Uh, no. I mean... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we could only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you'd like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care, Tink, and good luck. You're doing good, hoping that I'll convince you to buy Coral Island when you get money. Ooh. I feel like the game will do a good job convincing you on its own. It's a great game, honestly. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. It's a cute house, you love the roof. It is, it's pretty cute. It looks even better when it's fixed up a little bit. Here's our farm. Oh, whoa, it's a huge farm. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. I forgot how- I always forget how big this farm is and how much cleaning we need to do. <laughs> oh my. Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll ship the content overnight to the appropriate stores in town and you'll receive the funds the following day. It's giving Stardew Valley vibes. It reminds you of wildflowers. Yeah, they're all in the same like game genre. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of similarities between them. I think this one also has like some Stardew Valley like references in it, honestly. I've never played Stardew Valley, but that's what I've heard. I'll be going now so you can get some rest. Oh, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for the farm yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. We received a watering can, an axe, a scythe, and some random seeds. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake, hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, team. Oh my. The cleaning up part you loathe? Listen, I actually don't mind the cleaning up part. Oh, you know what I am gonna do? One thing that's cool about this game is that you can actually change the speed of the day. Okay, so we're gonna play at the slowest speed. So we have time to meet everybody. Well, how did I make sense? <laughs> Sometimes I say things and I realize I don't make sense. Um, how quickly an in-game day goes can be changed. So it can be normal speed all the way down to half speed. So we're gonna play at half speed for the day. So we have more time to wander and get things done. And we might be able to like speed it up if we realize, uh, you know, there's not much else we want to do for the day or X, Y, Z, whatever. Tink, to repair your house, we'll need you to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. After you collect everything, head to the carpenter store and create an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Your local carpenters. Beautiful. Look how much money we have. Okay. Farming. 
To grow crops, start by clearing debris from your farmland. Perfect. Press X while equipping a scythe, pickaxe, or axe to clear the debris. Beautiful. Oops. Um, equip the hoe and press X to till the soil. Plant the seeds. Equip the watering can and water and wait until they grow. Okay, perfect. So our quests we have right now are to plant seeds, water seeds, gather wood, and stone. Um, so let's... Wait, how do I scroll between this? Oh, there we go. I forgot. Um, yeah. We got to clear a space for some plants. We have 18 things that we can plant for now. We also have to remember that we have energy. And I think when we miss items, but we're still trying to use a tool, like if I'm trying to hit a rock and I miss it, I still end up using the energy. So I need to be careful. Thank you everybody who liked the stream, by the way. And if you're hanging out and you haven't pressed the like button yet, please do. It helps the channel out a whole bunch. And I appreciate it. Okay, we'll start by just clearing a little patch in front of our house. Well, not super tiny, but we're definitely not going to try to clear all of this. We couldn't even if we tried because we don't have enough energy. Ooh, we got a coffer. Bring it to the blacksmith to unlock. There may be valuable items inside. Perfect. Okay. Oops. Okay, let's cut this and... Okay, I think once we clear these couple of weeds, like right down this area, that should be sufficient for our small garden for now. Okay, um, how do we want to do this? Let's just start here for now. Why not? We'll do two little three by three plots. The animations in this are so funny. She really puts her whole body into this. Okay. Beautiful. And then the other one. Do you want to put next to it? Yeah. Let's do that. We should also try to gather the supplies that we need, actually. So we might do some more cleaning. Oop, not there. Beautiful. And now we water. Oops. Well, that one got double watered. That's fine. I think it'll survive. Need to visit Sam's general store and also harvest our first crop. But we have to wait for the crops to grow. So that'll take a little bit of time. Let's go see Sam at the general store. I have to remember how to, uh, oops, not you. Oops, not you. I need to remember how to dash. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so speedy. Oh my goodness, wait, I feel like these look different. Let's harvest these. Oh my goodness, wait, look at all of these animals. Okay, let's go look at those for a second. Um, did that, there we go. Look at them. Oh my goodness, there's a little bunny. There are some dogs and some cats. That's so cute. Also, hello. Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest, Eva for short. We don't see too many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. Awesome. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. Oh no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I heard from the twins who run the inn that a new farmer moved in. I just thought, 
you know, never mind. Uh, okay. You built your house up so much, you're sad to have to restart. You also got a pup. Oh no. The good thing is you can keep the money though. So you can build it up faster this time. But it is a little bit sad. Oh, also though, there is a mode you can go to if you're playing on PC at least. I don't really know. Well, actually it's only on PC for early access, I think. There's definitely a mode if you don't restart your game right away um, where you can at least go and like check in on your old save, but you can't really... It's more, I think, from what I saw, like just being able to walk around and visit or something. I don't think it's supported in this game version, if that makes sense. Is that, is that you, Tink? Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that getup. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. Right, it's not just the town, you know. The inn isn't as busy as it used to be. Hopefully with you moving in, it's a sign of something good. Okay, Noah. <laughs> Noah is so cute, but all of the characters are so cute. I love them all. Will I be streaming for the reset? Uh, I stream Dreamlight Valley on Wednesdays, but I stream it at 2 p.m. Eastern. Oh, Tink? As in... Tink, Tink? It's nice to finally meet you. Farmer? Cool. I'm one of the doctors here. Nice. You were happy you didn't do much in the early access of this game, but getting into it today now that it's full release and restarting was refreshing because you forgot what you were doing anyway. That's perfect, honestly. <laughs> I don't mind a restart, especially if I'm real confused about what I was doing. Uh, hey, Tink, I knew you would eventually make your way here. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, Tink. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal, though. I would do- wait, what? <laughs> it would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Anyway, before you get going, Tink, your moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Will do. We should also, while we're here, see what we can buy from Sam. We have daisies and turnips planted already. Let's, oh, our inventory is full. Listen, I can fix that. Upgrade our bag. Let's do it. And now we can buy, I wanna have like, a nice farm. Let's just do like nine of each type. Perfect. Um, does Sam count as somebody that I met already? Everybody low-key sus knowing who I am. Honestly, yes, but also this island is tiny. So I'm sure it's the type of place where everybody would know everything about the new people. That's the best price I can give you. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'm not trying to fight with you, Sam. We have profit sharing here. On top of her salary, Eva gets part of the profit from sales for baked goods. Oh, nice. Of course I am. I'm very proud of our system. It won't work for every business, but we're pretty small here. I think it's working all right so far. Oh, we can also snoop. A little bit. All of the NPCs' houses are so fun. We will have to wait to go into people's rooms, though, until we know them better. Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. May our paths cross again. Okay, Ben. 
Ben's shirt is like <laughs> gonna send me into a trance. I think I always thought it was just like, I don't know. You know how tie-dye is kind of random usually? I don't know. The swirl on his shirt was really swirling. It was giving, um, I don't know. What was it giving? Not super familiar with this game. Is it like a Harvest Moon Stardew Valley type game? It is. Yeah, it's a farming sim. So it's going to be very similar to those types of games. Okay. What do we need to do? Let's actually take a look at the menus because it's been a while since I looked through these. So we have our inventory here. We'll definitely go and plant the rest of our seeds that we got. Um, okay. Oh, interesting. So our total earnings are reset, like reset. That's nice. But this will give us kind of a rundown on everything with our farm and our progress. We have this quest to harvest our first crop. We need to gather more wood and stone for our house. And we need to meet townies. So I think I'm going to unpin this one. And I'm going to pin this one. Wait. Untrack. Wait, no. Oh my goodness. What button is the X button? There we go. And we're going to track this one. You can keep track of it a little bit better there. We have things we can craft. We're definitely going to have to craft some chests because one thing about me, I love hoarding materials. We have our map, which is huge. Look how big our farm is also, though, in relation to the map. That's pretty wild. Then here are all of the NPCs. These are the ones we've met so far. And this is how many we have left to meet. So quite a few. Wait, you can sort by favorite? Most hearts, eligible partners, upcoming birthdays. Wait, that's super helpful. Interesting, okay. And then we have our like skill progression here, which we'll be able to look at a little bit more once we like actually, actually do things. Okay, let's be here. Okay, back to our farm to plant some more things. Pick this up. I need to maybe not pick so many things up. Hmm. Oh, I also don't have energy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Things to consider. Things to consider. The world looks so cute. It is. It's a very cute world. Very cute game. No, that's not it. Uh, There we go. I really just need to buy an Xbox Pro controller because that's what every game with controller support is set to on Steam for the most part. So it'll tell me to press a button and I'm like, I don't know what that means because I'm using a different controller entirely. Our goal for the day is going to be to, oops, not use too much of our energy. Because if we pass out, I think Suki ends up bringing us back home and that's really embarrassing. Okay, some potatoes. Oops. Oh my goodness. Oh, time to fill up our watering can. So this beep might be the last one we can um, plant for now. 
And actually, we probably should spend the rest of our energy. Oops, well, trying to get the stone and wood that we need. Beautiful. Okay, do we just go ahead and eat one of these? Let's do it. Not that button. There we go. Let's actually, hmm, let's see if we can come down around this way and clear the path down to the beach. That way we don't have to go the long way when we're trying to get places, because this map is too big to be running around in all kinds of directions. Okay, girl, you chop that tree down. <laughs> okay, wait, is that enough? No, not even close. Okay, let's eat this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need a little bit more wood. Are we gonna be able to get enough? I do not know what that sound is coming from outside my window. Ooh, it's gonna be a close call. Low stamina, you can consume food or drinks to recover stamina, equip a food or drink, then press X. You can also go to bed to replenish your stamina. Okay, perfect. Oh wait, we have enough. Look at us. Just enough energy too, oh my goodness. Okay, so we will go and drop this off at the carpenter and then we can also work on meeting some more townies. That'll be our first day. You don't understand what it says, okay. Noted, noted, mysterious ruins. Oh, look at the animals. Look at these cows, they're the cutest. Oh, hello. Your tank? I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Well, I think you came to the right place. I hope you find it here. Fresh air, peace of mind, whatever it might be. Nice to meet you, Kenny. Oh my goodness, I can't wait until we have 10,000 cows. No one over here. Okay, we know Joko already. Have we talked to you though? I hope we get some rain soon. There are simple craft projects you can make yourself to improve your farm, like scarecrows or lampposts. Okay. We sell some blueprints if you'd like to try one. Oh, okay. I feel like some things to craft we unlock just by progressing in our skills, but I guess we can also buy some. Um, shop? Carpenter? Oh. Okay, so this is for animals. Oh, a fish pond. Put any fish to multiply over time? That's amazing. Insect house? Put any insect to multiply over time? 
The shed is an empty building we can use. Okay. Water sources, stable barn coop. Okay, so that wasn't what I needed to do. Ooh, we need a calendar. I don't have space in my inventory right now. Noted. Okay, house upgrade. If I would have read down the menu. Okay. House level one. Fixes up your house, enables the ability to decorate. Zero coins, but 50 wood and 30 stone. Let's do it. Awesome, thank you. I'll work on it right away. Perfect. Joko, honey, a slight change of plans. Tink's here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair Tink's cabin. Oh, their home is so cute. I love their blue couches. Wow, that's awesome, Tink. Let's do it. Dinda and Joko are repairing my house. Awesome. How are the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now move it and help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Oh, I love this little cutscene. It's so cute. Us just talking on the little floor rug. <laughs> Phew, that old thing was really heavy. We're finished. What do you think, Tink? Um, looks brand new. Thank you. <laughs> Is it? I'd say we can do better. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough to hold... Wait, it's strong enough for more furniture now. There. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... We have a furniture store in town. But since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know. Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we can go there, right? Alright, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. Oh, sorry, Tink. I got too excited there. We love that store, even though we even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time, Tink. It's in the middle of town, so shouldn't be hard to find. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. Oh yeah, the TV! <laughs> We threw in a free TV for you, Tink, free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It gets a good amount of channels too, like this weather. Oop. Brings back some memories from the 90s, oh my. Well, sometimes you gotta smack it good at a 60 degree angle like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too, love them. Some shows have useful tips if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, Tink. Don't forget about the furniture store, alright? So you messed up? Has anyone tried to make a Christmas farm in this game? Wait, what do you mean you messed up? I have not tried to make a Christmas farm. Hi, Willie. How are you? Okay, perfect. Our house got upgraded. Our plants are watered. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. And we can go... Oh, open journal to claim reward. Never mind. Let's claim a reward. Um, Reward. Quest. Claim reward. Cool. We still need to wait to harvest our first crop, and we need to meet a bunch of townies. So let's go into town. Ooh, I like that little animation that we made some money. Oh, you know what else we need to do? Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? Let me eat this real quick. Mm, that's not going to help me that much. We need to make a chest to store things in. We need 20 wood? Oh, no. We're not going to be able to do that. Okay. Never mind. We'll do that tomorrow, maybe, when we have more energy. It's a tropical island. You didn't think about the fact. You just thought you wanted to do something Christmassy. Well, winter time in this game is actually really pretty. And there's snow. So... I mean, granted, it might take you a while to make it to winter, but... It does look very pretty. You say hello to Taco. Look at Taco's little handkerchief. He seems to like it, and that's all that matters. Sweet, we met Taco. Oh, let's not hold this. Let's grab this. We might have to uh, expand our backpack some more. Probably should. I mean, there's nothing stopping us. Well, 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 if it isn't the new owner of the lot, or should I say the farm? Well, hello to you, too. Sure, the farm. Apologies, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Walter. Nice to meet you, Walter. Perhaps you should reset. Wait, what do you mean reset? Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Brie, listen, they're so mean to us. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, it seems. Walter and I own the vineyard, you see. Our clients are mostly abroad. Shall I send over a bottle? So pretentious. So rude. Well, I'm taking this mushroom that's in your yard, so how about that? Oh, our inventory's full. Our sad, small inventory. Uh, you know what we need to do? Let's go to the blacksmith to open our coffer and see what's inside. And then let's go back to Sam's and um, expand our backpack. What did you say? Honestly, this is a little real with the sounds coming through my window right now. We're working every day to get this done. Please be patient with us. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pick that up. So let's go in here. Hello. Oh, hi there. My name is Raphael. Um, I'm one of the blacksmiths here in Starlet Town. Nice. Any chance you can open a coffer for us? Bronze kelp. Okay. I'll take it. Anyone else here? Yes. May I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure is mine. Interesting. Moving to a small island from Pokio is an odd choice. And why now? But I suppose everyone has their own reasons. Good luck with everything. Well, thank you. This room is actually cool. I like their couch. And their little kitchen. Okay. Cute. Whoa, and their TV. Okay. Time to go back to Sam's. I need to forage things, and I can't do that when I have neither backpack space nor chest space. So, back to Sam's we go, and we'll see if we meet anybody new along the way. Let's see, let's see. I want a pet. Wait, there are different animals out now. Look at this, like, lizard. And look at this puppy. Oh, and there's a cat up in the tree. Cute. Cute, cute. Should you continue trying to make your Christmas farm or start a new game and reset? Oh, whichever you want.
Sorry, give me one minute. I don't think we've met. I'm Aaliyah. Nice to meet you, Aaliyah. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? <laughs> oh, that's right, Pokio. I'm Theo. Nice to meet you, Theo. 19 people down. 11 to go for our goal. We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Oh, look at the music coming from the speakers. What kind of music are they playing? It's just waiting for someone to step up and start singing. Not I. Not I. Uh, no one's over here. Okay, okay. Let's see. Hello. Whoa, look who's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Folks at the tavern have been talking about you. You should stop by sometime, sir. That's where we are right now, as we speak. Good chat, good chat, good chat. Um, anyone up here? No. I understand that we can't go into people's bedrooms, but I do still think it's funny that we can come up into their living rooms and kitchen. It's like, that's fine. Um... Everything else, though. Bedrooms, off-limits. Oh! We can go into the storage room. Okay, nice. Alright. Continuing on. Gotta find some more people to meet. Oh, here's somebody. Charles. Well, hello to you. Achoo! Let you indeed. Ugh, spring. Not the best time to move here. By the way, I'm Char Charles. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Poor guy. I too get bad allergies, so I get it. Oh, wait, there's also someone here. Hello. How lovely to see a new face around here. You can call me Betty, dear. You're the first visitor we've had in a while. After the oil spill last year, tourists hardly come anymore. Well, I'm happy to be here, and also we're staying forever. Macy? Hello to you too, I'm Macy. Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Oh, you just moved to Coral Island? That's amazing, welcome, and confusing? Why? Well, I hope you're getting around all right. Coral Island is kind of big, so getting your bearings can be pretty hard at first. Oh. You'll get used to it in no time, I have no doubt. Well, thanks, Macy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Oh my goodness, everyone's coming from the beach. This is, I guess, the perfect intersection to stand at. You're the new arrival, huh? Don't bother me and I won't bother you. Ha, huh, psych. <laughs> You're in my way. Well, rude. No, seriously, you are in my way. Okay, well, never mind, let me leave. Nice to meet you. We need to get a bug net so we can catch the critters. Okay. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Some more bronze kelp. What do we get from you? Oh, stone. Okay, well. That's good to know, but not necessary right now. Oh my, she's mean. She's, she's a little rough around the edges, but... <laughs> Definitely some of the villagers are. We know Eva already. We met her. Oh, that's another critter that we can't get yet. Okay. Anyone else around? We need to meet six more people. We already met Raj, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new in town? 
See you around. See you around. Nice talk. Okay. Some more trash. Perfect. Uh, the beach shack is closed. Pick you up. We talked to Yuri this morning. Let's see if we can go to the inn and see if anybody's there, perhaps. Hmm. Ah, yes. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you again. It'll be nice to have more farmers here. Being able to get local produce will be a game changer. Nice to meet you, Suki. Oh, look at her painting over here. Hello. Hello, Miss Tink. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Valentina. Um, yeah, it's really fun here. You get to fly kites and build snowmen in winter. Nice. No one around here. That's Suki's room, and that's Alice's room, and that's Valentina's room. I can't wait to snoop in them. Anyone over here? Just Raj. Okay. And I believe up here are the rooms that we're not going to be able to go into, which is fine. Good evening. Welcome in. How are you? Hello, hello. We talked to Alice. Okay. Got a mushroom. Anyone over here? No, that's a dead end. Oh, we haven't looked at this. We don't understand what it says. Okay. That's fine. Daffodil. We should also probably eventually start trying to give people gifts to win their affection. Can I go in here? Going to bed soon, but you saw that I was live, so you had to stop by. Well, thank you for stopping by. I hope you've been having a great day today. No, can't go in any of these places. What about here? No. Okay. I actually don't know if I've ever been in the lighthouse before. It's kind of cool. This is a real neat rug. We only need to meet three more people to finish this quest, at least. So let's try to do that. Actually, let's consult. No, not that button. This button? No, this button. <laughs> there we go. The map. And we can see if, where there are townies that we haven't met. Two people there, but that place is closed. Oh, Frank and Erica's house has one place. The abandoned villa has one person. Wait, one place? What? There are people in the community center. Okay. Let's get going. You've returned with sustenance. Wait, what are you eating? I want to know, but also I'm pretty sure it's going to make me hungry. I feel like homes close at 8 o'clock. So I don't know if we're going to be able to make it over to this person over here. But we can try. Oh, it's locked. Best not to impose. Never mind. What about... No, it wasn't over here. Somewhere else. Or was it? No. Barbecue. Oh, yum. I think there was someone in here as well. Oh. Hi. I know you're about to lock your doors for the night, but... Hello? Hey, you. Is this our new neighbor? Yeah, <laughs> I just barged into your house un, um, unannounced. <laughs> Making your way around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Uh, Dude behind the bar? Yeah, a friend of yours? Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Hmm. <laughs> Frank will cook us dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Okay, perfect. What is this game? You've never seen it before. It's called Coral Island. It's been, or it was not early access since last September, I believe. But today it's releasing. 
and it's like full release 1.0 with um, an update that also came with it, so we are playing today. We did have to restart our save because all saves from early access were reset, but we got to keep our money, so we're kind of rich, which is nice. Just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Nice. Anything else? Having another rancher could be good for the local economy. We might be able to make local cheese again. Nice. Ooh, look at all of the animals. Trinket, stop. Oh my goodness. You know what Trinket makes me think of? Some of you probably already know. Um, Critical Role in their Vox Machina campaign. Well, also Vox Machina is a show on um, on Amazon as well, so probably a little bit more accessible now, but um, the party has a bear named Trinket. Yes, Tink. I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. It's so exciting to have people move in. Have you met everyone? Oh no, we have not met everyone. Not even a little bit, but we have met 30 people. We unlocked, oh, crafting menu, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Select an item to view its required materials. With the necessary materials on hand, press A to craft, okay. Once crafted, place it in your backpack and enjoy. Cool, we can make a flower bouquet. Maybe that's what we got from completing our quest. Oh, now we have to craft a flower bouquet. Okay. And now we have to gift it to someone. Who do we want to give it to? Can't wait for it to release on Switch. Yes, next year. Hopefully early in the year, but they really haven't said. But that would be lovely. I feel like this game would be a really fun one to play on Switch. Uh, everyone's places are going to be closed for now. Is there somebody at... Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's just give it to Millie. Millie was our 30th person that we met. So we'll just give her the flower bouquet. Hopefully she likes it. As long as it's not Charles. Charles would probably yell at us or sneeze or something. Here you go. Gift. Yes. I hope this wasn't too much trouble. I accept. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. We completed that quest. Perfect. We still have to harvest our first crop, but... That's something we're just going to have to wait on a little bit. Is there anyone else out and about and accessible to meet? I don't think so. Everyone's probably at home. I know that said open down by the beach, but it actually was not. Oh wait, the observatory? Well, we already know Cam. The hot spring. We actually might be able to do the hot spring. There are also probably a few things we should check out as we're running around. Like this mysterious tree. You don't understand what it says. Noted. I don't want to hold this. Okay, there we go can also rummage through some trash bins. That's always nice. Get some supplies for crafting, I guess. Ooh, we really need that bug net. So many spooky looking trees out and about. Oh my goodness. Ooh, candied tree seed, don't mind if I do.
We are going to need to find a way to um, increase our energy. Brilliant. Wait, where was I even going? Oh, I think actually the bathhouse is right here somewhere. So I think we are going in the right direction at least. Uh, can I? No, that wasn't it. There we go. We're starting to feel tired. I know, I know. Oh, hello. Tink, did I say it right? I'm Waku. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Yep, the one with the hat. Did I hear a Pokio accent? Oh, you are? Where in Pokio are you from? We're from uh, next to the thingy. Starting to feel tired. What a mood. Honestly, me pretty much always. Oh, right. The thingy. Yes, of course. All right. I forgot. We've got like a mysterious backstory or something. Oh, it's closed. Never mind. We just missed it. What about here? Is there anybody in here? I know we've technically met everybody that we needed to for our quest, but there are still a lot of people that we still need to meet. Like, how many people do we still have to meet? These are the ones we have. And look, four... Oh my goodness, still so many people. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's like so many people. 24 people. Okay, but I really need to stop um, hitting things because, well, I'm going to hit this anyway. Okay, <laughs> because we're going to pass out and then we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so the weather tomorrow is going to be sunny, so we'll still have to water our crops. Okay. What else do we have? How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in 1961. Water your crop every day. That's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? Noted. Animal channel? Ooh, mookbang. Mookbang with mook. Why'd they do the year like that? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> Moo. Hello, fellow mooks. Welcome again to Mookbang. Here, Mook eat everything. Like high-grade grass from Pokio into Saka. Moo. Moo, it's heavy. I need moo cistern. <laughs> Today, Mook will eat this grass from an island south of Pokio. Mook say it was the last stock in the world. Farmer cultivating it, gone. No one has time to try to read Roman numerals. I don't know. I feel like I got it pretty quickly. I had to like second guess myself for a minute, but I think it was 1961. Um, Mook will judge if it was a shame or not disappear. Wait, what? If it was a shame or not disappear. Got, got, got it. Moonch, 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 of course. Moo. Mook tastes soil and freshness. Mook approves. Time to eat more. Moo. Moonch, moonch? <laughs> Moo, something is weird. Mook did not taste any green in this. What could it be, Mooks? 
out of season grass. Farmers, no growing something out of season. You destroy it, okay? Moo. Mook do not want to eat again. Away, moo. <laughs> that was my favorite bowl. What a waste, moo. This is the end for today. Next week, Mook will review Pokio Hay with Baco Chicken. See you next week, Mooks. Having such a deja vu moment right now. Listen, <laughs> we've definitely been here before. We've also seen that Mook show so many times. Because at least before, when I was playing this like really regularly i don't think they had m more than one episode of each show i don't know um our foraging level increased so we have plus three to our max stamina and we can now make these candy tree seeds and we made zero money perfect all right the bit the biggest thing is that our energy is replenished so what i think we need to do oh we need to check our mail Introducing basic bag. It has a total of 20 compartments. That's a whole five extra compartments and basic tool belts. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now at Sam's General Store for 500 coins. We're ahead of you, Sam. Anything else? No? Okay, well, all right. Let's water our plants. Should I have planted all of these right now? Answer? Probably no. However, you know, it's fine. I probably should have waited until we have more energy or like the ability to make sprinklers, especially since we don't really need the money right now, but such is life. Oh, yes, yes. I need to refill my watering can. Well, I know there's no water remaining. That's why I was trying to fill it. Oh my goodness, I'm just thinking back to Mook. So cute. Such a cute little cow. Hmm. Am I going to plant these crops anyway? Yes. Because the thing is, even though we have money, I do think we're going to need the actual crops for things. So, you know what? It's for the best. Okay, and then we'll do one here, but we're going to need to clear some of this stuff out, out first. All of you, go away. Beautiful. I would also ideally like to have enough energy to um, chop a couple trees. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but that would be nice so we could make a chest so we could start storing things. Because I think we need wood. I think that was the other material that we didn't have yet. Oops. Oh my goodness. I'm so inefficient with my energy. I'm not very good at aiming things correctly. Oh no! We also need to try to make sure we can meet everybody. We're not on a super time crunch, but it would be nice. It also would be nice to grab a calendar that we can put in our home so we can see what events are happening and who's got birthdays coming up. Let's just fill up this watering can so we don't have to do it. No, <laughs> why? <laughs> why would I try to water the pond? Anyway. Um, that way we won't have to do it first thing tomorrow morning when we tend to our things. Beautiful. Ooh, we got 20 wood. Wait, that was all that we actually needed to make one chest, I believe. So let's make one of those. Um, for now, I think I want to put it, I do think I want them in front of my house. 
I don't know if I'm gonna want them there forever, but we can always like unload them and move them. Okay, so we're just going to put uh pretty much all of this stuff. in here. Beautiful. Hi, Mickey. How are you? And now all of that is taken care of. Perfect. Um, that's going to grow a tree, which is fine. Eventually, we're going to have to figure out what we're doing with all of this. Let's go buy a calendar. And let's try to see if we can find more people to meet. Let's buy the calendar first. Still don't understand what that says. We know Miss Dinda, but we can at least say hey. I gathered a lot of bamboo shoots over the weekend. Have you found any yet? Try checking up around Dippa's house. There may be some over that way. Dinda is singing in another in another language. Nice. Okay. So when we talk to the... Oh, it's closed. So rude. Only 10 minutes, though. When we talk to the NPCs, we can increase our friendship levels with them, which unlocks cute cutscenes and things like that. So we'll try to make sure we're friendly with everyone. And then there are also dateable characters. There are so many dateable characters. Oh, my goodness. It's actually going to be very difficult to um, narrow down who we want to be our boo. Anyway, let's buy a calendar. All right. Hi, Joko. I hope we get some rain soon. There's so much we can pass on to our children. The little things we, the parents, do can become their habits. Very wise, Joko. Hello. Oh, you're Tink. I've heard about you from my uncle Joko, the carpenter. Tall? Mustache? No? Actually, I also just moved here last winter for work. Nice. Nice to meet ya. I don't know. I a little bit have mixed feelings about Surya. Some of the NPCs are... Well, all of them are kind of precious and wonderful. But some of them are really mean to us sometimes. Like, I think I was trying to give Surya a gift one time. And it was something that he didn't like. And he absolutely was not gracious about it. <laughs> He was not gracious about it. Hi, Mara. How are you? Precious and wonderful? Most of them are. Ah, our farmer neighbor. To what do I owe the pleasure? I like to deliver our products to the inn and the tavern personally. Gives me a reason to visit the town. You live two steps away from the town, sir. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's consult the map. Not that button. Where are people we don't know? Oh, the blacksmith. Stranger. Wait, can we sell waypoints for people? I don't think we can. Or there might be a way. I don't know. It might. Uh, I don't think we can set waypoints, but I think we might be able to, like, locate them on the map. I, it's been too long since I played this game. I hope it starts raining soon. The walking path could do with a good rinse. I'm just cleaning up a bit of moss on the stones. No, oh, Raphael is sweet. Although he was also really mean to us one day when we gave him something he didn't like. Well, really mean is a little bit of a stretch maybe for Raphael, but still. Is it supposed to look like that? It looks incomplete. Wait, what, the book or the carving? I don't know. Not sure. All right, well. Let's make sure we meet everybody. Check in with all of the mysterious statues. Hello, Bonbon. Bon. What a cutie. We need a pet. Now that winter is over, it's time to wash all the blankets and put them in storage. It's kind of sad to think about, but if I don't take Valentina to school now, when else would I get to do it? She'll be all grown up and off to university before we know it. Don't say that. She's a baby. Time really does fly, Tink. 
Oh my. Hello, I don't think I've met you yet. Sunny. The new farmer. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. And I also don't believe we've met Emma. So the rumors were true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month, too. Can't remember his name, though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. Oh, wait, what else did you have to say to us? Sure, sure. It's nice to meet you, too. My name is Emma. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Can we go into the school and bother the teachers and the children? Oh, look at these little footprints. These are so cute. And then the rainbow footprints. This building is adorable. Oh, they're not even in here. Okay, maybe they're on a field trip. Oh, well. I mean, makes sense, I guess. All right. Um, we did need to go to the carpenter. No, blacksmith. Because there's somebody in here that we haven't met. Ah, yes. Pablo. You must be Tink, right? Pablo. We have mixed feelings about Pablo. <laughs> You're surprisingly cute. Gee, thanks. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. Name's Pablo. I don't know Jack about farming, but hey. If you need help with tools, come by my shop just north of town and I'll see what I can do. Ciao. We're at your shop now. Anyway. That's Pablo. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me. We haven't met my other problematic fave yet. Let's see if we can track her down. Stranger, stranger. I don't know. It could be any of these people. Uh, there are so many people just out and about. You love seeing Raphael spelled with an F instead of a PH? I don't know if I've seen it. Well, have I seen it spelled with a PH very often? I don't know. It's not a name that I come across very frequently. Oh, here's the kiddos. My name is Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? Ah, yes. Tink, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can I talk to the kids while they're clearly reading? Yes. My name? Hmm, my name's Oliver. Why? <laughs> I mean, fair question. Why are we, a grown adult, interrupting this kid's lesson? Um, yeah, this is a normal day on the island, I guess. Except now you're here. Are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer, is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? My uncle Surya is new too. Just like you. Nice. Also, hi Valentina, we go way back. <laughs> My nose is itchy. <laughs> Mood. Yuri says I'm sensitive to pollen, just like Charles. I play at the beach with Oliver after school. So much fun. But then we get hungry after a while, so we go home. Nice. Um, have the kids learned never to talk to strangers? Probably not. This is an island where, like, 65 people live. I don't think that's something that they teach them very much here, probably. <laughs> You're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. Can me and my friends still go to your farm and play in the mud? Um, I mean, if your parents say so. Okay. Let's see who's in here. We can do, like, foraging and stuff. Our farm is taken care of. We don't have the most energy. And we also don't have... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Luna looks happy today. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Fluff. Oh, my goodness. Malcolm can't talk right now. Malcolm's taking a nap, I guess. 
Oh my goodness. These animals are too cute. We need one. In um, my sim game that I've been playing just like by myself for fun. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, I have two families and well, I have two families that I'm playing. And one of them had a black cat and I named the black cat Salem after the cat in um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And then that cat had a kitten and I named it Thackeray <laughs> after Thackeray Binks. And um, they gifted that kitten to the other family that I'm playing. So I've got two really cute black cats, one of which is a kitten. And um, it's a lot of fun. If you're interested in aliens, you should read this book by Professor Keep. He has interesting theories about ET intelligence. I read it back in university. Who orders the books inside the library, I wonder? There are way too many cookbooks. I'm glad I made it through another winter. Now I can look forward to summer. Nice. New, hello, how are you? How am I feeling? How's gameplay going? I'm still a little bit sick, but for the most part, feeling pretty well. Gameplay is going good. We have so much money. But we did start over, so we're back at the beginning, meeting all of the people, and kind of just getting settled into Coral Island. Did I make you in my Sims game? I did not. No, I'm playing with a vampire family and a spellcaster family. None of whom are based off of any real people except for, well, real people <laughs> in quotations being Salem and Thackeray Binks, but you know, <laughs> you know how it is. Chose to start over. So actually um, the game today is in full release. It was in early access before this and all early access games um, were like forced to reset but you could keep the money that you made. So didn't really have an option, but it's fine. We're having a good time. Zoe wants one carrot. Deadline is two days. Let's accept this. I don't know if our carrot's gonna be grown in two days, but we can hope. When did we plant those? I don't know. This here is my coffee shop. Uh, stop by whenever you feel the need for that jolt of caffeine. I can't stand when people wear perfume that's too strong. It overwhelms my nose for the day and I don't like that. I like to be able to smell the coffee. Well, coffee is a very strong scent, so it would have to be some perfume to co or cover it up. Okay, I'm trying to meet the people I haven't met yet. Where are they? Have I met the new Islanders? I have not. We've met a lot of people so far, but all of them are people that have been in the game since early access first dropped. And we have so many more to meet still. Like, well, we're getting there. Four, one, two, three, four. We have 16 more people to meet. Oh, we don't know whose room this is. Zara's not home. Don't ignore my love for you. Kitty, how about you make a sim? And create a sim. Upload it to the gallery, and then I will download it and put it into my game. How about that? <laughs> okay, no one's home here either. Oh, their kitty's home though. Closed. It's closed. Okay, well, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, Monday through Sunday from 10 to 6. Okay. Wait, what? Except Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay, then why don't you just say Friday through Sunday? Friday through Monday? I don't know. Anyone home here? Hmm. 
Hmm. No. Oh my goodness, meeting people is more difficult than I thought it would be. We know you. We know you. We know you. Hmm. We know you. Okay, there's one person down at that dock. One person there, but we can't talk to this person yet. Um, I know that. Oh, there are a bunch of people up around here. Okay. Let's go up by the lake. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here, then? By the way, you can call me Paul. Nice. Nice to meet you. I don't want to gift this to you. I don't. I really just want to talk to you. The docu-series Friends with Wildlife? Yeah. My wife and I made that. I can't believe you know about it. Cool, cool. Very cool. Nice. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm? Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. This family is so cute. They're just like little wildlife documentary makers. A quick word of advice from your new neighbor. Be patient. Since last year, those darn crops aren't growing like they used to. Okay, noted. Thank you for that. Oh, I also don't know you. Hello, let me interrupt your, uh... Uh... Meditating? Deep breathing? Centering? I'm sorry. You're... The new farmer? I see. No offense, but you look like you've never held a tool in your life. Um, that's rude. I don't know why Connor lets anyone move in. Our community is great just as it is. Well then. I'm sure we're going to be besties. Somebody's here. And here. Here she is. You said you're a farmer, right? Hmm, that explains the outfit. How cute. Out of all the places you could go, why on earth would you move here? Well, nice to meet you, Leah. Listen, my goal in life is for us to get Leah to like us. I don't know why, but it's true. I, it might be the pink hair. The pink hair is a big vibe. Huh, Tink? I'm Dippa. Oh, a corporate employee? And now you're a farmer? What a twist, huh? Nice chat. Okay, we must be getting close to meeting everybody. I know we're not. I know we're not. Just let me have this. <laughs> Just to let me have the belief that we're getting close to having met everyone. Rummage through the trash bin. Beautiful, beautiful. Rummage through this trash bin. Happy Coral Island Day! Mickey, how are you? Have you started your new save yet? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, hello. Is that you, Taro? Oh. Haven't seen you before. Are you new here? I am new here. Hello. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Trying to go to the map, ending up somewhere very different. Wait, can I even get back there? Huh. I think the answer is no, but you know, we can try at least. I think this area might be blocked off. You've played for hours already? Oh my goodness. You need to speed your game to marry your baby cam? Oh my goodness. No, we can't get back there yet. Listen, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't ever progressed far enough with Cam, but I feel like she always just tolerates us. And I've never actually gotten to a point in friendship with her where she seems to actually enjoy our company. Ooh, there's somebody down here as well. There's Kenny. We can say hey to Kenny. He's on his lunch break, but still. Hmm, just look at her go. Wait, who? Oh, my apologies there. 
I sort of got lost in the swirling wind. Oh, the wind! Stop! Kenny's so cute. It's all very theatrical, don't you think? Being a first-time farmer must be challenging. There's a lot to get used to, huh? Hello, hello, long-time watcher, and you're so happy to finally catch me live. Well, hello! Welcome in! I hope you're having a great day. I'm happy you were able to catch a live. We're on like day two of Coral Island, so <laughs> we're taking our time. We're playing the days at half speed, mostly so we have time to meet everybody. That's always something that um I try to get done as early in the game as possible. A new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill? Huh. I'm Zara. See you around. Okay, see you around. Nice to meet you, Zara. And then there are two townies up here. Listen, I feel like, actually, besides, um, I think this is Wataru. I think that's uh, Waku's dad, who technically we should already know because he drove us on the boat here. Oh, we also need to meet Emily. But besides those two, oh, and Lily. We've just about met everyone we can meet. We need to go down to the lighthouse. We need to go to Lily's house. And we need to meet Emily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Myra, hello, hello. Don't really have time, but wanted to drop in and leave a like. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day. Ooh. We got some candy tree seeds here. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. So we can use those to gain some energy. Um, Wait, have we looked at this one yet? Where are we? I honestly am a little bit lost at the moment. Don't, oh, here we are at the carpenters. Got it. Okay, I remember. One thing about this game, the map is really big and it can be kind of confusing. I've played this game quite a bit, and occasionally I do still get lost. Okay, let's go to the hair salon. Oh, the little kid's having their lesson outside. It's so cute. Is Erica still here? No, but we can say hey to Ben. I love spring. I can hear the birds chirping again. Like me, I'm chirping again. I'm a bird. Okay. <laughs> I run errands for Sam sometimes. Little things like grabbing seeds. He hooks me up with a sweet deal for the trouble. Nice. I also want to say hi to Eva. We do also love Eva. We should probably also check the calendar. I know we have one in our inventory we need to put up. Also, hello to Mayor Connor. Have you planted any spring seeds yet? Sugarcane is my personal favorite. It does take a while to grow, but we grow the sweetest sugarcane here. I'm sure Sam would pay a lot for it. I don't know if um that's something that we have available yet, honestly. We might have to rank up our town first. I love the way Sam smells. Most stores smell weird, but we keep this place spick and span. The beach is still a little cold. Have you ever found anything pretty while diving? You have? I mean, we haven't been diving, but... Theo showed me a handful of jade a long time ago. He told me he found it in an old treasure chest. Nice. I guess we can also say hello to Sam. Welcome, are you shopping? The cherry trees near the lake are blooming again, which means it's the time of year when we gather around the lake and barbecue. I think Emily and I are bringing fresh chard, shard to the festival? Yes, some shard. That'll be good. Okay. Speaking of Emily, we still need to meet her technically. So let's take a trip to the hair salon. That's also probably where um, Erica is, so we can check in on her and see how she's doing today. Nothing today, but Thursday is Joko's birthday. We've got two birthdays on Sunday. Oh, we still haven't met Scott either. Um, Kenny's birthday, Cherry Blossom Festival on the 10th. Why did I think that was later in the season? Okay. Yeah, I definitely thought that was like towards the end of the season, but hey, it's in just a few days. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. I don't often go to the part of the island where your farm is. It was overgrown the last time I visited. Just a mess. How is it so far? Doing pretty good. And Erica is not here. Okay. And if we wanted to change our hairstyle, we could do it here. This hairstyle is so cute. I'm not changing it, but we could do that. Um, oh, we could change our eyebrows and our eyes and our nose and stuff. Interesting. And like our lip color and facial hair if we wanted. And you can change your body type. Interesting. I didn't know you could do all of that. That's kind of nice, though. It's nice to be able to continue to customize your character as you play. Instead of being, like, stuck with the first options you choose. Okay. The other place we needed to go was... Oh, yeah. We need to meet Lily. I think she was at her house when we checked on the map earlier. So let's see if she's still here. Yes, awesome. Ooh, she's got a sick setup. Oh my goodness. Four monitors? I need that. Um, yes? I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? I am. Nice to meet you, Lily. Perfect. Now I think for the most part we've met everybody. Let's go put up our calendar and also maybe try to do some foraging. Yeah, let's go by, uh, by way of the beach, I think. The more we gather, the more we'll have for creating things like crafting. Also, we can give things to people as gifts to get them to like us more, which is always nice. We still need our bug net. Hmm. Oh, I was trying to jump. Oh my goodness, that was wild of me. <laughs> I was like, jump over this rock that you can't climb onto, but um, I don't actually think there's a jump button in this game. I don't think that's possible. Anything else over here? Oh, look at Sunny fishing. Cute. All right, not much over here for us. Just a lot of trash. How are you doing today? Most people usually get their flu vaccines in winter or spring. That's when you're most vulnerable. I get mine in fall to prepare for the coming season. Give it a try, see how it feels. I'm used to high stress situations. I feel like that's when my knowledge and training really kick in. It sounds horrible, but the adrenaline rush is addictive. I can a little bit understand that. Working in healthcare can lead to a lot of super stressful situations or like, yeah. Everything moves so fast sometimes. What else is there for us to gather? There's a staffodil, a little clover, beautiful. I think there's another section of beach over here that we haven't been to yet. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Ooh, silver kelp. Fancy, fancy. Amazing. Here's Theo. Oh, Ting, want to hear my new song? I wrote it yesterday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what that kind of reminds me of? <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh, he's singing to us. Flowers, you beautiful flowers, as beautiful as the eyes of my love. Okay, nice song. 
In this day and age, people can be so greedy. We're always chasing after more and more and more. It's sad, really. Um, the, uh, I don't know. It's giving <laughs> the guitar serenading just reminds me of the Barbie movie. Eh, are you looking for farming advice? Never worked the land myself. I'm more at home at sea. Except for my plants here, my lovelies. Nods. Nods back. Oh my goodness. Now I kind of want to watch the Barbie movie again. All right, homeward bound. It's evening. Maybe we can do like a little bit of cleaning with our excess energy. Put the extra stuff in our inventory away. That would be good. I mean, cleaning up the farm is just gonna take a small eternity. Oh, we need another chest. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, actually, can we put up this calendar? Wait. There we go. There, now we can see the events of the day here in our home instead of going back to the community board, which is going to be really helpful, I think. We do need wood. So that's probably what we should prioritize getting. Let me also just like quick transfer. There we go. We have more space than I thought we did. Um, yes, wood. Let's chop down you. Oh, it takes so much energy to chop down the large trees. Oh, we have enough to make a chest, though. If we take out this trash, I think. Beautiful. And we should probably try to make one more if we can. So let's eat. Uh, we'll just eat one of those for now. And let's try to chop down this tree. Welcome back, kitty. Beautiful. Oops, well, there we go. That should be enough. Yes. And we can even label these now. So we'll keep this one for, this one will be materials, I think. So we'll put like that in there. We'll leave the fiber in the hay. We'll take out the seeds. Actually, I could potentially leave the seeds in there. You know what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely leave all of that stuff in there. This silver kelp can go in there as well. Hi, Fizzy. How are you? Uh, okay, this one we're going to call uh, Forageables. Forageables? Is there an E in Forageables? Is Forageable even a word? There's no E and it is a word. Okay. Look at me being kind of right. <laughs> Partially right. We'll move these. Uh, we'll also move flowers in here. All of this stuff is stuff that we forage. Uh, 
and that too. Uh, the starfish, I feel like, I can't remember. I think that's something we catch though. And this one's gonna be critters for now. How do you make money in this game? You can play the demo in Xbox at the moment, planning on buying it later on. Um, in this game, um, you can sell things that you forage or that you catch, like bugs and fish, things like that. You can cook eventually when you get cooking materials. You can sell your crops. Um, you can find artifacts that you can sell if you get extra of them. Um, the way that I usually make money in this game is by taking my crops and then processing them into like processed versions. So um, you can get juicers to make juices. You can get um, like pickling jars to make pickles and jams. And those usually sell for more than the crops themselves. Um, I'm going to put these seeds in here for now and the sap and stuff. Yeah, that's gonna go in there. Beautiful. It's been a good while doing tasks in Dreamlight Valley. Nice. You want to be done with everything and prepared for the update? Can't wait. Listen, I'm so excited about the update, but also it's far away. I, I think I was lying to myself when I said it was soon. It doesn't feel soon anymore. It feels really far. Oh, that's just a really tiny tree. Chop. Okay. I don't have very much energy. We're going to try to not... Ooh. We're going to try to not pass out. So let's just put this stuff away. Keep the coffer. We'll bring that to the blacksmith tomorrow. And it's... You know what? It's not that late. Let's see if anyone else is hanging out at Fish and Sips. And we can chat to them if we haven't already today. Because that'll be good. Help get our friendships up. Eventually, listen. I'm going to need all of you to help me decide who our favorite NPC is. Especially the one that we're going to romance. Um, all of these ones here, starting here. All the way down to Zara. Are eligible to date plus there are a couple more that we haven't even met yet so i'm gonna need assistance because there are so many people to choose from wait is it leaving them up there in that way it is let me change this to upcoming birthday favorite that feels rude but sure Time flies, it's going to be the fifth in no time. A little bit, but also it's kind of far away, I feel like. I think we have three more Sundays. I did talk to you today. I guess I can see what you offer here. I'm not going to buy any of it. Wait, they have apple wine? That's cool. Oh my. Who likes red velvet cake? I forget. It might be Eva. Welcome, welcome. My tavern is your tavern, Tink. What can I get you today? Well, nothing. I'm not poor, but I'm still not buying anything today. Noah loves roasted mushrooms, but he doesn't like them raw for some reason. I bet it's because he doesn't want to clean them. I won't lie, Tink, cleaning mushrooms is the worst part about cooking them, but that boy Noah is just lazy, haha. -ha. Actually, now that Frank told us that, do we know that about Noah? That he likes roasted mushrooms or hates not roasted mushrooms? No. That would be nice if it, like, once we found out, it cataloged it. Because when we give people things, um... It'll then pop up if it's something that they love, like, or hate, or dislike. But when someone tells us, it doesn't pop up there. There's no way I'm going to remember that. So busy at work, and the busiest period is coming 
at work in December. Oh my. The busiest period in December. That's rough. Noah's asleep already. Aaliyah, did I say hi to you today? How are you? Tink, want to watch some TV with me? I don't even know what I'm watching. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, where's the TV? I'm trying to unwind, but my brain is going a mile a minute tonight. It's hard to stop it when my brain starts doing its thing. Wow, that's relatable. Miss the snow yet? Not really. Oh, there's the TV. It's in the corner. Ah, got it, got it, got it. They have a cute living room. Waiting for Paralives. I definitely follow Paralives and their progress on the game, but um, I feel like there's not a date or anything or like a projected date yet as far as I saw. Okay, I don't think anyone else is around really. Oh, I can collect you though. But yeah, I've been following Paralives for years now, it feels like. I don't even think that's dramatic. I think it's actually been years. And we're just waiting for information about when we can expect like a demo or a beta or anything like that. Uh, that's a forgeable. You didn't know that? Is that new with this release? Wait, is what new with this release? I'm so sorry, Mara. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I missed that chat when it first popped up. Okay, let's go to bed. Next day. Oh, we didn't check the TV. No. Oh, well. Uh, I don't think anything's happening today. Nothing today. You need to deliver a carrot to Zoe. I'm starting to feel like our carrot will not be ready by then, so that's unfortunate. Luckily, it's raining. Our carrot will not be done by then. Rude! Okay, um, we need to craft a makeshift scarecrow. Interesting, because I don't have that recipe. Okay, uh, we'll have to get that recipe. To the likes and dislikes being cataloged. Oh, no, I don't think that's new, um, but it is very helpful. Yeah, there's so much information, actually, usually when you're in looking at the characters. There's that. Also, you can see all of the express uh, like the expressions that you've unlocked from them. So each character has multiple. We only have two from Aaliyah because we just met her. But you can like look through all of their facial expressions and any outfits that you've unlocked for them. Let me see. There's somebody else that we've seen multiple outfits from. Maybe Kem. Oh, no, we've only seen the bathing suit. I don't know. Maybe Eva? No, I don't know. But <laughs> when you unlock different outfits for them, you can also see those, which is pretty cool. Um, hello, Tink. Looking for a way to pass the time or maybe you want to earn extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow? When you have the time, please visit us at the Beach Shack. We have the perfect welcoming gifts for you. Perfect. We should definitely do that. Let's make sure we track this. Oh, it is tracked. Perfect. We need to get a makeshift scarecrow, so we'll have to buy a recipe for that, I think, from Dinda and Joko. We can at least try once that opens. The beat shack, I think, opens at 8 or 9 as well, so we'll go there. Okay, we'll do a bit of cleaning up on our farm for now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We go we can also clean this up i want to let the baby trees grow we're not going to be able to break that rock until we upgrade our tools oops
I know it's nice to leave some grass for when we get animals, but I don't really want, I mean, I wanna have a good section of our farm cleared out so we can put things here. We can also plant grass in the future if we need to for our animals to graze, so I'm not overly worried about it at the moment. Okay, all of this. We'll chop down this tree. The music in this game is so good and it's so soothing. Oh, we also have to go, actually, no, they're open. I think the general store is closed on Wednesdays, but the blacksmith should be open today. Oh, we've used all of our energy. Listen, <laughs> that's okay. We have some candied tree seeds we can eat, so we can still... Uh, check out our new tools that we're gonna get from Sunny and Eleanor. It's gonna be fine. I didn't consider that. Well. Okay. Let's put away all of these things. Beautiful. Easy. Donuts from the cafe are great for stamina. Really? Are they expensive? I mean, we have money, but your girl's always on a budget. <laughs> always on a budget. Wait, what? Read? Beach lookout, okay. Ooh. I feel like when I was playing Coral Island before, I used to just buy a bunch of sugar from Sam, and that's what we would use for energy. It worked pretty well. Where do you buy the seeds? You got some seeds from the beginning, but you don't know where to buy more. Um, they are at Sam's General Store, which is in the main town square. Um, it's right here. He can sell you some seeds. Or do you mean like the candied tree seeds to eat? The candied tree seeds you can find around in like little gray like plant chests. And you can also craft them when you increase your foraging level. Okay, we don't understand what it says. Coming around to the beach shack. Perfect. What? Sunny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing will get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay, then we start with the fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome, a new face at last. Tink, isn't it? Yeah, we met, Sonny. Jim, Tink is here. He doesn't care. Nice to meet ya. Hmm? <laughs> nice to finally meet you, Tink. Come have a seat. We were just discussing your welcome gifts. This game looks so fun and adorable. You guess you'll be spending money again. I mean, it's a very cute game. I have had a lot of fun with it and I'm enjoying it this time around as well. It's fine if you prefer to stand. Gotta keep those leg muscles strong, eh? No, we're good. Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, sit, Tink. We're like, oh, what do we do? <laughs> do we stand, do we sit? So, how's farm life so far? Uh, it's a bit tiring sometimes. Don't forget to take breaks. 
Even fishing can be tiring if you do it nonstop. Settle a debate for us, Ting. Which is a better activity, fishing or fun and ever exciting bug catching? My wife, the competitive ladybug. <laughs> Size. Hmm. Uh, bug catching does sound exciting. Thank goddess. Looks like I'll finally have a fellow bug enthusiast. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod and a bug net. Oh, thank you. You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Museum. Good luck. Thank you. It's hard when you need to skip cutscenes because of the little time you get to play the demo. That is understandable. What is sold here? Small fish bait. Hmm. Oh, we can also upgrade our tools. Ah, oh, we need essence and stuff though. Interesting. So you mean I can't just pay for a better one? Rude. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Thankfully it didn't storm, huh? So you tell me, Tink, as a farmer, how do you deal with this weather? I always enjoy the walk here. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't think we've officially met Eleanor. I wonder where she's hanging out. We also need to go to the carpenter. Uh, wait, no. Did we need to go to the carpenter? I felt like we did. I know we need to go to the blacksmith. Why did I feel like I wanted to go to the carpenter? I was probably just making things up. Maybe I was just thinking about we, the fact that we would have room for, like, a barn or something. If we cleared out more of our farm, but it's fine. Poor Zoe is not going to be getting a carrot from us. Unless we can buy one from Sam, but I doubt it. Anyone hanging out? I mean, it's raining, so probably not. No. You know what? Let's eat a couple of these. Gotta earn it. I know. Listen. Earning things when I have money. That's just silly. Oh, the scarecrow recipe. Thank you. Yes, that was what I wanted from the carpenter. Nice to be outdoors, don't you agree? I mean, in the rain, it's probably not the best just standing there, to be honest, but I'm glad you're having a good time. What's his name? Derek? If it's not, he looks like a Derek. But I think that is what it is. Okay. Let's open our coffer. Something good. Ooh, a chipped helmet. Perfect. Um, we can also buy ores here, but I don't need anything. We can say hello to Pablo. You here for business or just seeking shelter, Tink? Well, I mean, it is raining outside. Trying to persuade my cousins to expand the inn's business. Maybe they could add karaoke, let people choose songs and sing along. They keep turning me down. Didn't see the potential, I guess. Well... My cousins? Well, technically the twins who run the inn are my ex-cousins-in-law, but we just treat them like family. Thought that was pretty standard, but maybe it's just an us thing. Maybe, maybe. It's only water. We're not made of sugar. That's what your grandparents always say when it rains. I don't mind the rain that much, honestly. I also don't think I even own an umbrella right now, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh no, I need to dry off my boots. Mud everywhere. Oh well. My work keeps me so busy I sometimes wish. Wish what? You can quit. <laughs> me just moving to this island causing a ruckus. Being like, what if you just left your job? And didn't do this anymore. Is Emma selling tacos? No. Okay. Let's go to the carpenter. We haven't found any bugs yet. Is Can I sneak like this? Yes, okay. I just had to remember how to sneak. 
Because one thing about the bugs in this game, I feel like they're hard to catch sometimes. I also don't know if there will be many out since it's raining, but... Maybe. Okay. Hello! Thank you for visiting, you and the young folks from the village. Old man like me gets lonely sometimes. You're welcome to bathe at the hot spring, it's open to the public. You don't need to pay to enter. Well, thank you for that. Unfortunately, it's, um... Under construction or something. We can't quite use the hot springs yet, but soon, soon we will be able to. Where are all the bugs? Oh! Mangosteen? Nice. I don't know what that is, honestly. Um, is this where the carpenter is? No. Yes, I think it is. <laughs> I don't think I'm as lost as I think I am. No. Oh, so close and so far away at the same time. People gotta earn a living. I know people have to earn a living. I'm just saying. If he's unhappy at his current place of work... I'm sure Pablo wouldn't mind taking over for now. He could find somebody else to work there. Well, I mean, never mind. This is an island with 65 people living here. I don't know that he could find other employees, to be honest. How about this weather, huh? Rainy one day, sunny the next? Bah. I had no idea what to expect when I woke up this morning. I can't chit-chat all day. Okay, rude. Fine. Goodbye. Talk to someone else, will you? Oh my goodness. Not it getting worse. Listen. She doesn't like us. Ooh, feisty. <laughs> right? Some people in Starlet Town are just not a fan of us. Uh, shop. No, not here. Well, how about... Carpenter? I could have sworn. No, maybe not. No, I think we might just have to earn the recipe by leveling up our farming skill or something. So for now, we're stuck with the crows. Eating all of our crops. It's so sad. Steen is Dutch for stone. Mango Steen is the Dutch word for mango seed. You call it the stone of the fruit. Oh, interesting. Wait, that's a mango seed? Interesting. Well, it's some kind of fruit. I don't know. Maybe it's like a... I don't know. You know what? That's cool, though. Oh, we're finding lots of these candied tree seeds. Hi, Julie. How are you? But no bugs. The rain, I think, has scared them away. I guess we could fish, though. Me just trying to find bugs because I don't want to go fishing. <laughs> oh, my. But we are going to need fish to donate to the museum, so we might as well. Ooh, we can also forage these things. I think I can fish here. We'll see if I remember how to do this. I think hopefully I can just press the same button. Oh my, this fish. Of course our first fish would be a feisty one. And, um, okay, rude. I also don't think that's how we do it. Okay, maybe let me just do it. Let me see if I can do it with my mouse. That was rude, whatever that fish was. And now we catch a piece of trash. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, doing the fishing is gonna be such a pain. Catching a great white shark. Wait, what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I feel like this mechanic is... It can't have changed, but why does it feel different? Well, this is a piece of trash. Okay, so no, I'm doing the thing I feel like I should be doing to reel it in. Okay, no, it is correct. I think that fish was just horrible. You know what? Maybe that's just the fish that we're never going to catch. And oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fishing in this game is just unnecessarily difficult sometimes. We caught an angel fish. They aren't afraid of boats, but can be hard to find. Okay, noted. Let's see if we can catch anything else. Or, I mean, there should be a couple different varieties of fish that show up here, even when it's raining. Like, I know in different areas on the map, different fish will show up, and some will show up, like, at certain times of day, or in certain weather conditions, or seasons. Another angelfish. Okay. We'll maybe try one more. One more non-trash fish, and then we might... <laughs> And then we might uh, relocate to a different location. See if we can find some bugs or something. I don't think I will ever forget like the two streams of consistently trying to catch a great white shark that uh, we had way back in the day where I was literally like 10 seconds away from bursting into tears. That was quite the time to be alive. I think I've done too much fishing in Palea since I last fished in this game. I've also done some fishing in Fay Farm, but in both of those games, um, it's easier than this. Oh, wait. Ooh, we caught a snail. <laughs> Look at us. Catching bugs. The fishing mechanic is so goofy. It's not just that it's goofy, it's just that it's so difficult. Like, I understand it in theory. However, in practice, it's just not simple. It looks goofy, does it? Have you fished in this game? Wait, because you have played this game, right? Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, I know you have. You were talking about the fact that you had a dog. Is that a creature or is that just rain? Just rain. Looks hard to fish. It is, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, I may be making it look harder than it is because I guess I'm just not very good at it, but I do find it kind of tricky. Especially with the more difficult fish. Okay. Oh wait, that's the same one. Um, what other forageables? That was a forageable and that. And these were critters. And I'm gonna put this in materials. And then I'm going to rearrange this. And we'll keep that helmet on us for now. Eventually, maybe we can make another chest for like miscellaneous things. 
but for now we'll keep it on us. Hopefully we can open the museum tomorrow or the next day. Not planning on fishing unless you have to. The thing is that there's a museum in this game, kind of like an Animal Crossing, and um, where you collect fish, bugs, artifacts, like all that kind of stuff, and you donate it. And donating to the museum is a big part of increase your, increasing your town ranking. So, uh... It's, like, not maybe necessary to fish, but it is going to benefit you to fish. No worries, kitty. Okay, let's see what else we can catch. I mean, catching some right now is going to be good, because then once we get access to the museum, which I think happens in the first week of gameplay, um, then we can just donate them all. All of the ones that we have. Beautiful tilapia. Let's catch one more fish here. And then we'll have a nice little head start on donations, which will be nice. Ooh, we also need to um, buy some cooking equipment at some point. Maybe we should do that. We also need to expand our house. There's so much we need to do. Cooking is one thing that I haven't really experimented with at all in this game, even when I played before. So I'm excited to check that out. You wish we had more games like this for the PS4. This game and Fae Farm look like such a fun time. You just live vicariously through me and other streamers and YouTubers. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that... Wait, did I know that Fae Farm wasn't on the PS4? I think I did. Maybe... It might just be on PC and Switch right now, though, Fae Farm. But I don't think I knew that this one wasn't available on PS4. Wait. Let me check something quickly. It might just be for PlayStation 5. But it's definitely on one of the PlayStation consoles. Um. Oh, just PS5. Oh, no, that's so sad. Yeah, that's rough. I have a PS4, but I don't really use it very much. I definitely don't have a PS5. Fave Farm is only on PC and Switch. That's what I thought about Fave Farm, but I wasn't sure about this one. Because I knew it was coming out on PlayStation, but I didn't know it was just PS5. Okay, let's do some more gathering, rummage through some more trash bins. Sometimes we find good stuff there. Eh, just trash, but I mean, we can still use the trash. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Um, what else? I don't think we've looked through the trash can on the um, other side of this beach over by the pier. I don't think so anyway. We have not. Don't understand what it says. It's almost Wednesday where you are. 20 past 10. Oh my goodness, that's late. Well, actually, it's kind of late for me too. I mean, not late late. I just mean like in terms of streaming. Let's clean up the beach a little bit, actually. Oh no, I'm so tired. Oh no. It's too early in our relationship for Yuri to pick me up, um, passed out on the beach. So we need to not do that. I was like, why am I moving so slow? No. But it was because I had no energy. That'll definitely do it. Thirty-six minutes for Wednesday for you. Oh my goodness. 
Time zones are so wild. I mean that genuinely, by the way. I don't know. I felt like that might have come across a little bit sarcastic, but it's just such a weird thing. Okay, cleaning up the beach. Eat another one of these. Clean up more of these. No coffers, that's rude. Maybe some of the other trash piles have them. Wednesday's Dream Snaps Day. Yeah, they posted a tweet. I don't know. Do, I don't know. The name change for Twitter is so weird to me. Do we still call them tweets? I don't know. Um, they posted a tweet today that was like a sneak peek at the Dream Snaps theme for tomorrow. So that was interesting. We'll see what we can do. We'll see if I have to deconstruct another part of one of my biomes for it. It feels like the answer to that is yes. Oh, hello, Jim. Now that spring is finally here, I can start gathering some shiitake again. I do tai chi on my day off and spend the rest of the day foraging around. Oh, that's so sweet. Rain, rain, go away. I want to go out and play. Oh, Oliver, you're out now, though. But yes, I, I feel that. The wind feels nice. But don't open your mouth so wide. Sand might get in it. <laughs> Good looking out, Oliver. I appreciate you. Um, there's not going to be anything over here. Let's see over by the lake, maybe. Did we say hi to Sam today? I think we did. Yeah, when we picked up our... Our bug net and stuff. Oh, a bug. No, let me catch you. Ugh, rude. Rude, rude, rude. Wait, where did Macy go? Hello, Macy. Sometimes you can get some really compelling shots in the rain. Other times, it's just kind of drab. I don't get too stressed, thankfully. It's one of the job perks. I'm always surrounded by nature and pretty things. It puts me in a good mood, always. Nice. He's so cute. How are you doing, Charles? Feeling better or worse than the rain? Um, excuse me, but is my hair, uh, messy? I hope not. Oh, you said lazy. Wait, what? I thought you said my hair was messy. <laughs> oh, um, please don't startle me like that. I'm not being lazy. I'm just taking a short break. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why are we throwing shade? <laughs> Uh-oh, here it comes. Spring allergies. Oh, no. Goodbye, Charles. I know you had something else to say, but <laughs> we're done with this conversation. An acorn. Oh, an oak seed. Never mind. It's an acorn, right? An acorn is an acorn. What? Anyway. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Do you ever get to a point where even you don't know what you're saying anymore? That happens to me sometimes. I'm like, why? Why is that what's coming out of your mouth right now? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that didn't work. Yes, when you're really tired or stressed. Yeah, it happens to me sometimes when I'm tired. Sometimes I don't even have to be tired. It's just like if I've been talking for long enough. Sometimes I don't even have to be talking for that long. It's so interesting. Like, oh my goodness. Um, usually when I'm making, like, uh, videos to upload on YouTube, I'll write a script. 
Um, so I have a pretty good idea of what I want to say. And sometimes I even just read the script like word for word. Sometimes I'll like riff a little bit. Uh, when I was doing my Valley tour, though, that was like a 50 minute long Valley tour. I did not write a script for it. I was like, I'll just talk about the Valley as I'm going. It's easy. And the amount of stuff that I had to cut out of the <laughs> out of the audio recording because I was like, girl, what are you saying? <laughs> Like, that's either so random or so weird. Why is that what you what you said? So, um, yeah, there were some silent sections where I just, I don't know, I was being me. And it was a little too much for the moment. Okay, okay. What else can we find? Anything? You might be able to chop a little bit of the wood over here. We don't have that much energy, but we have a little bit. Tomorrow should be Joko's birthday. That makes it good. You love it when people say their mind and improvise. I do a lot of the time and sometimes it's fine. Just sometimes it's a little bit much. Oh, I can't wait until we're going to be able to fast travel. That's going to be so nice. Oops. It's gonna be a while until we can do that though. So for now, we're just gonna be jogging about throughout the island. Actually, there are some areas I don't think we've explored yet. Like to the side of our farm, I think there is some stuff. Almost out of energy. I know, I am keeping track. Oh, there it is. Whoa, that took so much energy to catch that bug. I didn't realize it was going to take that much. Okay, well, good times. It might be an early night for us. Any other critters? No. Forgeables. That can also go in there. I don't want to keep the seeds with each other. I don't know. Something like that. Doesn't really matter too much. We need the museum, though. Let's see what's on the TV. You're curious about the mermaids? Oh my goodness, the merfolk are amazing. Um, we haven't unlocked the ability to dive yet, but that'll probably happen. I think that happens at the end of the week. Um, the end of the in-game week. But then there's a lot of stuff we have to do to actually make it to the merfolk kingdom. But we'll get there. It'll be a lot of fun. The weather forecast? Okay, what's the weather tomorrow? That happens when you're watching something and you quote some random movie and nobody knows what you're talking about. I quote a lot of random songs, usually. Sometimes movies. Usually musicals, though. Um, okay, the weather tomorrow is going to be sunny. We've also seen Coral Stars so many times, but we might as well watch it again. <laughs> Passion and music bring these five girls together, but can they overcome the harsh world of sea pop? Hello, producers. I will be your representative in the show. Welcome to Coral Stars. This music is not matching the vibe of Coral Stars. <laughs> Today, five girls will start their fight in the world of C-pop. 
They will start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give their all in stages, prepared to test their result practices. However, your participation will also be essential in realizing the dreams of these hopeful idols. Now, without further ado, Coral Stars, please introduce yourselves. Star in your eyes, hello, we are Coral Stars. <laughs> As you can see, they're very determined to debut. Leader, any words for our producers? Yes, producers, thank you for giving us the chance to showcase our skills. We will not let you down and always perform our best. Everyone streaming this game, love it. Yeah, that's because it's full release day. Very good. Next week, we will have our first choreography lesson with a C-pop veteran, so be sure to stay tuned, producers. Goodbye. Next week on Coral Stars. With that attitude, you should quit before wasting everyone's time. <laughs> Coral stars are now facing the harsh truth. Can they weather the storm? Oh, I'm intrigued. Okay, let's go to bed. Year one. Ooh, we can make a kill now. Foraging level two. We're really killing it with the foraging skill. We need no money, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, I think we're actually going to end stream here as well. Um, but thank you all for hanging out. The one thing about this game, it will not save unless you sleep. Um, like sleeping is what saves the game, so that's something to be aware of if you're picking it up. But I'm going to see who else is around. I'm sure somebody else is probably playing this right now. We can go hang out with them for a little bit. Let me put on, I don't know, some music. And we can just uh, see who's doing what. And there's no music playing. Oh, there it is. It's just taking its sweet time. I'll be back tomorrow with Disney Dreamlight Valley. We'll be doing Dream Snaps, probably. Maybe something else. I'm not sure yet. Oh, Let's Play K is playing. She never streams at the time when we're ending, so we never get to raid her. But um, if you have some time, please come by and say hi to K. She's absolutely wonderful and brilliant. She plays a lot of Dreamlight Valley also. Um, what else does she play? Palea sometimes. Pretty much all the cozy things. If you don't have time, that's fine. I understand. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourselves. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.